Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ogie okay here and today we are going to do another how to build episode and um, today I'm going to do a little bit of a different type of house um, although it's still going to be modern but it's going to be very very awesome. So one thing we're going to want to do is we're simply going to want to um, grab most of our items and we're going to start off by building the very front of the house and then we're going to progress all the way to the back. Um, so what I'm really quickly going to do is I'm going to grab all the essentials and then we're going to get stuck into it. Okay, so what you're going to need is you're going to need spruce planks, dark oak wood, smooth quartz blocks and uh, white paint, uh, white glass paint simply to build the building, building around. Uh, we will do decorations and stuff like that all the way at the end of the episode, uh, but for time being let's get stuck into this tutorial. So, um, first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to build um, a five across, um, leaving one space for a door. And then what we're going to want to do is simply um, put our door um, facing all the way out the way outwards. But before you do that, make sure to put a um, um, birch plank simply below the door like so. Um, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure this is a 10 height um, pillar almost. Uh, so we're going to go up by 7 more blocks all the way across and I'm going to show you what that looks like in just a wee second. So uh, we want to build a massive pillar just like this here. Um, it's 5 across and 10 high. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add... Um, simply buildings all the way around us. So this is going to be like our core of the house. It's going to be essentially the center of the main building. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drop down a little bit and then uh, two blocks above, uh, you're going to want to leave two blocks of space above the door just like so and then what you're going to do is you're going to put court blocks um, going all the way across just like so. Um, so this is going to be kind of like your divider. This is going to be um, the second floor is going to start on this place and then the second uh, or the first floor is going to start up here and this is going to be like kind of your block off for, for the balcony. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fly up just a little bit higher and put, put a few more blocks going across just like so, leaving um, only one block up above uh, of space so that whenever you look out from further out you're going to have um, kind of a shape like this here for time being. Then uh, what we want to do is we're going to want to build across by four using glass paint. So what we're going to do is we're going to put quart, um, uh, smooth, we're going to use smooth quartz as essentially the floor of the ground and then what we're going to do is we're going to put four uh, white glass panes going all the way across and what we're going to do then is we're going to build a pillar um, going all the way up to this height here so um, it's going to essentially look something like this and then you're going to want to expand this to go all the way across just like so and um, it's going to be a double pillar uh, this is going to be essentially just the front of the house, so it's going to look like this here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this gap in with white glass panes. So, now that I've filled this out, we are coming up with a shape like this here for the house. Then, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add the left-hand side of the building. Before we, before we do the back, I simply like to get the front of my house looking nice and simple so that I know the exact shape that we're going to use. So. Uh, before we get into this here, what we're going to want to do is we're simply going to want to expand this here out by four blocks um, going back the way. So just like so, one, two, three, four, going all the way across and then we're going to fill this up going all up by ten yet again. So now that I have this here finished off, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to grab our white quart blocks and we're going to go one across by eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. And then we're going to do our corner and go simply across like so. So this is going to be kind of essentially our um, our balcony area. So what we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to put a few pillars going all the way down, and this is going to be our garage. Um, it's or essentially it's not really going to be as much of a garage as a driveway, um, as you're not going to be actually able to access the inside of it, as this will be part of the house. So what we're going to want to do then is we're really simply going to want to take smooth quartz um, slabs or quartz slabs and um, place them down just below um, here, making a nice floor going all the way across um, straight to the wall. So it's going to look something like this here and what we're going to want to do is make a two, uh, a two block walkway just like so. So we're going to be left with, um, oh sorry my bad, uh, this here needs to be expanded just by one more block, um, I've done the wrong calculation so it's actually going out by nine. Uh, my apologies, I got the calculations wrong completely there. Um, so we're going to add one more block going all the way across just like so and um, then we're going to finish off with the floor going all the way across and we're going to have like a 3x2 um, a kind of walkway going all the way around. Then we're going to really quickly fill this out with um, court, uh, smooth core blocks to make um, a nice kind of um, path for ourselves and then we'll be able to see exactly kind of 
what the size of the um, of the house and uh, whatnot will be exactly. So we're currently sitting with a, a shape like this here, and then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add court blocks um, essentially here and here. Or we can actually fill this out all the way across, and then what we're going to want to do here is we're going to go up um, by a few blocks to make sure that we have uh, enough space kind of going all the way around the building. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to um, use this here as our um, guide to make sure we are always sticking to the same height. So uh, this here is going to be an overhang that will go all the way around the building and then what we're going to want to do here is we're going to take spruce uh, planks or spruce slabs and we're going to go across um, at the top of each uh, of the sides or each of the um, lines going across just like so. Um, so as you can see this is already kind of shaping up to look um, very very nicely but before we move forwards what I want to do is um, I want to fill out the gap down here so what you're going to want to do is simply cover this here off um, with our spruce slabs just like oh, sorry with the spruce um, half slabs going all the way down so that you can see a nice overhang from the spruce um, slabs and then uh, you will be able to see the difference whenever you're looking in from the from the outside into the garage which is exactly um, the effect that we want so we're going to really quickly fill this out and i'm going to show you guys what it's supposed to look like so we are currently sitting off a house looking in a shape of like this here which is exactly what we wanted now that we have all this here finished off what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that we can go out by 10 blocks with the main uh, with the main part of the building so we go one two three four five and then six seven eight nine and ten and then what we're going to want to do is we're going to quickly want to fill out the roof uh so i'm going to show you what that looks like once i'm done so there we go this is essentially the main shape of the building and then what we're going to do um once we're at the very back of this here house is we're really quickly going to build up a pillar um going all the way down to the bottom from the back of the house uh, without any doors uh, although if you would like you can always add a few extra doors around the back so that you have a double entrance all the way into the house but i'm going to really quickly fill this out and i'm going to show you what this will look like once complete so we're currently sitting with a house shape of this here which is already looking very very nice but what we're going to want to do then is we're going to take our smooth court blocks and fill this here out all the way to the very edge of this house uh, also we're going to include this wall going all the way around so I'm going to show you what this will look like once I got it filled out. So I filled out the gap around and then this is what we're kind of coming around with. It's going to be a simple shape around the back and then what we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to add our overhang going all the way across um, the building just like so. And then before we finish off here what we're going to want to do is we're going to really quickly want to get the roof of um, this side of the house kind of wrapped up in a shape like this here and then I'm going to fill this out and put an overhang all the way around the house. So I put an overhang all the way around the building and then this is the current effect that we have. Now what we want to do is we're going to really quickly um, close this off with the building um, kind of going all the way across here. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to quickly fill this out completely going um, just like um, so all the way to the very edge here and then that's going to kind of leave us with like a bigger room going all the way out down the bottom so as you can see i am going all the way out here um, to the very edge and then this is simply because the room at the bottom will be essentially the part of the garage that we had and then what we're going to do here is we're going to use stone slabs to cover the whole roof of it up like so then this here is going to be converted into our um, birch wood slabs that we're going to use very very shortly but in the meantime what we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to drop down to the ground first and then we're going to replace this whole um, section essentially with um, corp, smooth corp blocks at the bottom and then what we're going to do is we're going to make a massive window with our glass panes going all the way across so that we have a nice um, view from our room as this is going to be the bedroom of this house so as you can see um, we are adding a few different elements of um, glasses or even glass walls all the way across the building so it's shaping up quite nicely and then what we're going to want to do here is we're going to create a simple wall going all the way across just like so all the way to the very top and what this is going to do this is going to finish off the shape of the house essentially next thing what we're going to want to do is we're going to really quickly want to close this off with smooth court blocks just like so to finish off a balcony as for this here what we're going to do is we're going to grab uh, birch planks and then we're going to use birch planks all the way across um, to this uh, to this section down here going 
just move a nice across and a nice um, tone for, for the floor and kind of using different colors of the wood that we are provided with. So this room up here is not going to actually have a door leading to the outside but instead what we're going to do is we're going to make a nice um, glass kind of um, entrance into the house leading all the way out to the balcony just like so. And then out here what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to put um, a nice kind of uh, birch floor going across like so and all the way up. This is because we're going to put um, a simple door kind of in the middle that will lead us all the way out into the room. And um, what we're going to do here is actually we're going to destroy um, the pillar there and here and we're going to close it off on this side so that we have a nice kind of um, outline of the building. Then really quickly what we're going to want to do is we're going to put um, simple kind of um, pillars going all the way up across leaving us with a single door on the inside which is already looking very very nice uh, although what you could do is you could also make a two door just like this here and then once you fly in what, we're, what you can do is simply put a double door like so uh, so actually we're gonna stick to this here and then we're gonna decorate the inside of the house really really quickly so what you're gonna do next is you're gonna want to grab some birch stairs uh, and we're going to build a staircase going up to the second floor, or the first floor, sorry, my apologies. And we're going to do it um, very, very simply by going across like this here. Uh, the floor is going to, or the stairs are going to be very simple, and we're going to use the space that's uh, given to us underneath uh, for our furnaces and our, um, our crafting tables. So we currently have a shape of this here, and our bedroom will be downstairs. Uh, what I will do before I finish off the staircase is really quickly turn this floor into birch um, planks. So now that I've filled out the floor, what we're going to want to do is we're going to really quickly want to just finish off the stairs in a very simple way. What we're going to do is we're simply just going to build um, a staircase going out like this here to cover up all the gaps that um, our um, staircase currently has. So the staircase will finish off looking essentially the same as this here, but before we um, before you wrap it up, what I will want to do is I will want to add a few extra bits and pieces simply just to make it a little bit nicer and kind of give us give ourselves that little bit of extra space. This here is going to lead us into our bedroom. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to put uh, a, spru a spruce door going inside the waist just like so inside of our bedroom. Then real quickly here we're going to close off this gap uh, just like so. And there we go this is going to separate the rooms completely um, so now that we have um, three different rooms in this house that we can use uh, we want to decorate the inside of the actual building itself um, so to do so what we're going to want to do is we're going to grab a few lanterns and um, some chain So we're going to want to put some lights. So on the white corner here, we're going to go down by three, um, three blocks with our chain and place a simple lantern. On the block down here, we're going to go down by four, uh, simply because this one is up a little bit higher than the ones uh, on, the, on the other side. And we're going to go down by four on the uh, wood as well again. And this will add just a little bit more light to our main um, section of the building. What we're gonna go, what we will do in here. Oh, my bad. What we're gonna do in here though is a little bit different, and we're gonna use um, two uh, two fences and a very simple um, block of glowstone. So we, I will really quickly grab some glowstone, and we're gonna put our decorations inside like so on each of the corners. This will kind of give us a consistent um, style of light, which will look very very nicely. Next thing, what we're gonna want to do is finish off our bedroom by adding um, a bed. And we're going to do it in a very, very similar style to what we've done in the previous episode. Um, for those of you who haven't seen the last episode, I would really encourage you to go and have a check it out. It's really cool and the house is really nice as well. Um, so we're going to make a really nice double bed like so again with a view to the outside. So this is essentially our bedroom completed. Um, whenever it comes to the staircase, what we're going to want to do is we're going to go over to this here side. And what we're going to want to do is simply delete these three blocks. Then what we're going to want to do is grab our furnace and a crafting table and put them in just like so. 
So we're actually utilizing the space underneath the stairs very, very well. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come on, come upstairs and use the space that we have created for our um, craft, our, our, apologies, our chests. There we go. I couldn't get the word out. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply go up by double chests on each side and then one chest in the middle, just like so. And then whenever it comes to the middle of the room, what we're going to do is we're going to want to put a few lanterns down. Um, I keep putting LAT instead of lantern. So uh, we will have two lanterns going across just down here. Uh, and then what you're going to want to do to finish off uh, is essentially put lanterns all around the corners of the house um, uh, uh, to add a little bit of extra light just like so, so as you can see, this is already shaping up to be very, very neat. Then what we're going to do is come inside and um, just kind of touch up a few things. So we're going to grab a painting and essentially put a big painting in the middle of the room um, and kind of a few extra small details that will just make it that much nicer. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to quickly um, see if I can spawn a nice big painting all the way across that will cover the stairs. I think we're going to have to go across here, nope. possibly there. That looks decent enough, or maybe not. What if we do, can we get a bigger painting? Really want a painting that can cover the whole kind of um, section for us. Let's see, uh, I think, I think this is essentially the best painting we're probably gonna get at the minute for size wise, uh, which is looking kind of decent. And then what you're gonna wanna do here is really quickly um, get a few, um, a few fences and we're going to use a fence um, on this side here uh, 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 and build the tree just like so. So we have a nice tree going across this side and we're going to do the same on this side. So as you can see, um, this is looking quite nicely. Oh, I put two fences down, my bad. There we go. So this is looking very, very nicely. Then what you're going to want to do here is you're going to add a quick um, kind of um, fence going outside with another lantern um, up above the, t uh, oh my bad. But you're gonna wanna do it kind of essentially at the top here, which is why I left the extra space um, on the side. So as you can see, this is a shape and up to be kind of um, very, very neat and it's looking well. Although, actually um, what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna move the staircase over by one block and move this whole thing kind of and recenter it. As I think if we recenter, it will look just a little bit nicer. So I'm going to really quickly do this and show you what that will look like. So um, I simply moved the staircase over by one block. So essentially the door is touching this side here and it's giving us a nice entrance to the room. This means the main room of the house is kind of centered. Then what I've done is I removed the simple um, doorway into the room just to make it kind of like a nice smooth path lean all the way in. And as you can see, now that it's centered, it does look that little bit smoother. So uh, what we're gonna do is essentially we're gonna go to this side here instead. And this is where we're gonna place our crafting bench and our furnaces. Um, simply because we already have a chest room upstairs. So what we're gonna do is we're simply gonna put them down here, which will look very, very neat. Um, so this is essentially the inside of the house really done. However, I usually like to add a few extra decorations. So what you can do is you can simply go down and maybe get a few heads of different um, creatures, um, such as the skeletons and whatnot, and kind of um, touch it up on the inside. Uh, this is kind of what I would usually do. Um, I would use two, um, maybe possibly two dragon heads, or um, simply you can just kind of mix and match between um, different creatures, like so. Um, so kind of you know, wither skeletons, whatnot, two dragon heads. Obviously, if you're in survival, you probably won't have that. So, um, you know, um, it's really up to you how you want to decorate the top of it. But this is essentially the inside of the house kind of um, wrapped up. You have your bedroom, you have the crafting work, uh, benches and stuff. And then um, you have the top of the house looking pretty neat. So what we're gonna wanna do is to finish off, we're simply gonna add a few more uh, bits and pieces and kind of um, touch up the styling of the house. Uh, which I'm gonna show you completely on screen now. Um, so, we're gonna wanna add a few bushes going um, up, just like this here, um, on the second floor of the house. Then what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna put a few pots down here with a few plants in it, um, simply so that, oh, right, let's see, uh, where do we have our pots, 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 pots. Uh, do it, come up if I type in. There we go. Uh, 
I was wondering when the pots were going to come up uh, com completely sooner. But yeah, there we go. Uh, we're going to get red, orange and white flowers and simply put them in like so with white in the middle. White in the middle, orange on the right and red on the left. And we're currently sitting with a house looking like this here. Uh, so it's it's getting there, however, it's not completely finished yet. What you're going to do here is you're really quickly going to want to dig up uh, essentially this here area like so. And then we're going to make a three block kind of um, pathway lean out of the house, just like this here, which will look very, very nicely. Then what you're going to do is you're really quickly going to dig up all of um, the kind of inside of the drive as you want to make sure that the floor is kind of um, concrete style type of um, design simply because you want it to look um, rather nice uh, and kind of match um, the whole idea that you can park a car on it. So uh, I'm going to really quickly dig up all this here ground and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the blocks that I want you to fill out with. So uh, we're currently sitting with a house like this here and what we want to do is we're going to want to grab um, the polish and the state and uh, what is the smooth blocks? Uh, smooth stone blocks, sorry. Um, there we go, smooth stone. There we go. So we're going to use smooth stone simply all the way across here um, as our path into the house as you want it to be a little bit different to um, the parking place. And then what we're going to use is uh, this block here and we're essentially going to really quickly fill out like so um, to kind of add that parking um, or driveway kind of feel to it. Um, so as you can see the whole place will kind of shape up and the colours will start matching up uh, very very shortly. Uh, and we're currently sitting with a house looking like this here, which if you ask me, looks absolutely insane and absolutely epic. But we're going to finish off with some oak leaves uh, going across um, this here path there. Uh, so kind of leading us into the house. And as you can see, the house looks absolutely insane and it's very, very effective. Um, I'd love to see uh, how you guys end up building the house and kind of uh, your decorations on the inside or if you have any other kind of ideas on how you could um, like to decorate it but if you ask me the house looks absolutely insane and it's um, it's very efficient with the use of space and as you can see um, it doesn't require that many blocks either but it's very very nice. So guys um, if you enjoyed this episode be sure to slap the like button also if you're new to my channel be sure to hit the subscribe to stick around and see all the new content that is coming out very very shortly. Um, so yeah thanks for watching once again this has been Augie here have a good day and goodbye.